All right, folks. Today I thought we could go to the seaside here in Tbilisi. Now, if you know Tbilisi, or if you've ever seen us on the map, you know it's not actually by the sea. However, just over that hill there is a huge man-made reservoir built in the 1950s, I believe, and it kind of acts as a sea, and in fact it is called by locals Tbilisi Sea. So, let's go check it out, shall we? It's only about two kilometers away, so it's not far, but the walk does involve going up very steep hills. So if you're not too good on your feet, best take the bus. It's strange to think that you're in the confines of a capital city here. First view of Tbilisi Sea, then. Straight ahead, there's a rather curious thing that can be seen from various parts of the city. I haven't checked it out yet, so maybe we should. So I'm here, and it turns out it's actually a huge sculpture celebrating 3,000 years of Georgian statehood. If you've picked up on the religious theme, I should say that in addition to celebrating the 3000th anniversary of the Georgian state, it also celebrates 2000 years of Christianity here. Hence the Christian themes. Very unusual anywhere in the ex-Soviet Union, which of course was an atheist state. And if any of you are wondering how it was constructed, then I guess you can get your answer by looking at the panels here. So unfortunately it doesn't say anywhere what year this was built in, but I'm guessing with the religious theme it must definitely be, um, well, after Perestroika and Glasnost, uh, the opening and restructuring of the Soviet Union in the mid-80s. So it must be sometime, I would have thought, uh, late 80s, early 90s, something like that. Well, I've got to admit, it's really cool seeing it close up. Um, great piece of artwork. But, I don't know, me personally, it's not really the style I like. I'm not too keen on it, really. But it is cool, at least. So there seems to be a beach down there. Why don't we go have a little look at that? Here we are, down the little beach then. A little shingly beach. Seems to be possible to swim in the sea. Although, I don't think you can swim very far out. But you can cool down at least. The water looks very clear and very clean. What about the temperature? Wow, certainly not cold. Not cold at all. If you don't want to swim but you want to have a walk around you can there's a track going all the way around the sea or the reservoir, whatever you want to call it. Although it's not in particularly great condition, it's a bit stony. Fine for walking, but maybe not quite so good for cycling. Well, mountain bike should be okay, but a racer bike probably won't cut it. Actually, hang on cue, uh, someone on a mountain bike there. And just by the sea, we have a water park there. It looks pretty good as well. I think after all the walking I've done today, I deserve to go chill out there for a bit.